Hey everybody, it's Tech Guy here, and today I'm going to be answering some questions from my older how to run an AC unit on solar power videos. How many watts is your inverter and does the startup voltage trip it? 5,000 watts and no. I, well, actually that depends on the video that that was on. It's, was that on the one of the it older ones? It was on your running a 5,000 BTU AC on solar. Test The first two. one? Test two? Okay, uh, the, yeah, that would have been 5,000 watts, and uh, no. No, it doesn't trip my inverter. So the inverter's 5,000 watts? Yes. Can you watch this TV? Yes, you should be able to run the TV during the day without, a, without an issue. Um, actually, it depends on how many watts you were run I was running there. Right now, I'm running 300 watts, and I should, you should be able to run a TV on 300 watts during the day without an issue and during the night I still watch my batteries all the time. However, we have not tried to watch TV on it yet. Oh, I have. We have watched TV on it. When, oh, yeah, when the power, when the power, went, power out. went out. That's right. When the power went out, we watched TV on that. I forgot about that. Yeah. But that was only we were only running 100 watts and then but that was at night too, so we were running off of 400 amp hours. It was during one of those running blackouts and the whole neighborhood was blacked out and we were still watching TV. Yeah. And our neighbors were wondering how we were doing We were watching a 40 inch uh, TV, LED, 40 inch LED TV is what we were watching. What can you run off a 25 watt solar panel? You could probably charge your phone on 25 watts of solar and there's not too much else I could think of that you could do off of 25 watts. Do you have any okay. idea? Okay, pay attention to the question. Pay attention to the question. To run a this is a really TV, long question. I should probably finish my Mandalorian and how many of you need to rework subscribe phaser gun. I have a lot of RF Kids TV videos to edit. Maybe I should quit LED my job. Subscribe, subscribe. People should subscribe. I gotta fix my big three. If you want to turn this on, maybe I should make a video about that. Or maybe two floor fans. Like if you can run all those things, what kind of equipment would you need? Wow, okay. Uh, let's... I'm gonna try to pick it apart one by one. So a camper size fridge. I'm not too sure how, how much you'll be able to run that. I know that during the day I can run a mini fridge for the main part of the day, I'd say from about 10 a.m. to about 4 p.m. I can I can run it all day without draining my batteries whatsoever. I have not attempted to run it all night. I should try to run it, but I have to be here in order to shut off the power if uh, it drains my batteries to below 12.4 volts. And that is if you have the mini fridge hooked up only, right? That's if you have the mini fridge hooked up to the battery bank. Only? Yeah. Like so when, when you're running off the solar, uh, 300 watts, or I, that's what I'm running right now, 300 watts, I know that mine is doing fine. They typically don't use a lot of power. So somebody wants your iced coffee recipe, please. And we oh, how long ago was that comment though? That was a year ago, but oh my God. I feel like the one that we recently made was actually better. It's one that I can actually drink. And oh. it's pretty easy and basic. Well, I like my, uh, ice, my older iced coffee recipe too. So you would brew your coffee. I would brew my coffee at night and then I would refrigerate it overnight. I use the International Delight creamer and ice and then I just blend it in the magic bullet and that was it. Pretty much you just put uh, the amount of creamer that you're satisfied with. If it's not enough creamer, you put more and blend it again. That's it. It's delicious. And it saves you money. <laughs> there you go. That yeah. saves you money. <laughs> and it saves you money. <laughs> How many watts of solar does this person need? Figure at least 600 watts. What size controller 40 do I need? Or what size inverter do I need? Figure at least two or 3,000 watts. For a 5,000 BTU AC, is that correct? Um, That's what she's trying to run. May, the, I believe the question was, the, her main purpose is to run a 5,000 BTU AC. Yes, I believe so, one of them. So, at 600 watts, you're still going to have to watch 
your batteries and not and make sure not to drain them below uh, 12.4 volts for deep cycle batteries if you got if you're running lithium you can run them lower than that so the size inverter you are going to need is minimum 2000 watts air conditioners 5000 btu acs typically use around 1200 watts somewhere around there when the compressor is on so you should be good with at least 2000 watts and as per, per uh, one of your other questions, you don't have an idea how many batteries is 400 amp hours. Typically, batteries run from 35 to 100 amp hours, and there is some 200 amp hour batteries, but most likely you're gonna end up with 100 amp hour batteries because it just seems to be the more logical choice. So you need base typically about four batteries to run 400 watts or 400 amp hours. Get yourself a pure sine wave inverter and will save e same energy. Compressors don't like square wave. I'm reading these comments as yeah. they're written. So if I get stuck on some of them, it's just because I'm tripping on the grammar. No, that was actually a helpful comment. Yeah, I know. But I'm like, if I'm stuttering. That was actually a, a helpful comment. Uh, I've been actually attempting to get a Pearson wave inverter, but right now this is more of a hobby for me So I it's not a necessity For me. I still have I still run off of the grid. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I still run on the grid I only use my battery bank or my solar when I'm making videos if the grid goes down those are the only times I use the That those are the only times I use my solar battery bank so one of the questions that I been getting a lot apparently is how much I'm saving on my electric bill and the answer would be nothing really I'm not really saving anything at this point it's not saying that you can't I'm mainly running mine for tests I don't have mine I don't have mine hooked up to the grid and I don't plan to do so in this place the only way I'd hook it up to a grid is if I ended up getting a, a camper of some sort RV or something like that. And or if I had a shed, I would I would make an off-grid shed, but at this point, no. Okay. What about golf cart batteries? Why do you not use them? Uh, the reason why I don't use golf cart batteries is because they are not in my budget. So golf cart batteries are about six volts each and 100 amp hours. You would need two of them hooked up in series to create a 12 volt system. And they run about $124 each. And the 100 amp hour batteries that I got were about $45 a piece. And that's why I don't use golf cart batteries. What do you plug into directly into the battery? Wish you would show that. I'm assuming they're, uh, I'm assuming you're asking, what do I plug the appliances into? I'm, I'm assuming that that's what the question is. Uh, no, I don't plug directly into the battery. If you look at this diagram right here. Yeah, look, at the, I have this magic thing here. So if you look at this diagram, it shows you that the that the wiring comes directly from the solar to the charge controller, the, from the charge controller to the batteries, and from the batteries to the power inverter. So that, that converts your your power from direct current to alternating current, and then you have power outlets in the alternating current in alternating cor current form. So you do need a uh, uh, power inverter. I'm not sure what video that was from. This is from the what can you do with Harbor Freight 100 watt kit. A lot of people are saying that you should have shopped around and blah blah blah. But there's another comment that says, I just picked up one of these systems during the storm Isaiah's power outage. Mind you, this is 11 months ago. I added a 400 watt inverter and a Walmart deep cycle marine battery. I have some basic lighting can can charge my phone, power the laptop, even use it, use a TV for a while. I'm impressed. Very simple plug and play. Yes, there are battery, better things available, but this is readily available. I'm a happy camper. Well, there you go. Thank you for that. I guess I have a question. How would it do with heating in times of winter or like the situation that happened with Texas? With a heater? Okay. So that was a question that was on there before. I, I got that question a long time ago. Um, so heaters typically use more power than an air conditioner. And plus, you're not going to have a lot of sun out. 
So you're going to run into more issues there. You're going to be draining your battery bank pretty quickly. I don't believe that running a heater on solar is the best idea, unfortunately. What shuts off the solar panels from overcharging the batteries? The charge controller does. Um, if I had my phone, oh, you have oh, that. I was like looking for my phone. There it is. Well, I was, well, Anyways, I was gonna she, she kind of needs it. Um, yeah. I've, I've demonstrated this in my last video. You can see here when my when I don't have anything connected to my battery bank and this stays at 100 percent, this shuts down and it starts only pulling in about one, two watts from the solar in the middle of the day. And there will be less than one amp coming out of it. So it just puts out enough just to charge the battery. So it's the charge controller that's blocking the the solar panels from overcharging the batteries. That's why you need a charge controller. And those stats are from 4.34 p.m. at 95 degrees. Yeah, these 4.34 p.m. 95 degrees. 9% tax. Where are you from? California, Southern California. I think I, it hits the 90s early morning. It's not as hot as Arizona, but, but it gets pretty hot over here. All that to make coffee? <laughs> I definitely got to answer that. When I go camping, we make coffee in a percolator. The coffee was just to demonstrate the amount of power that you can get from the solar battery bank. So it was a demonstration. It's not, it wasn't something that I normally do. So one of the comments said that I should uh, clean out my air conditioner and attempt to run it again. A few of them. Or a few of the comments mm -hmm. to get a better test. Um, I will attempt to run the AC unit again, this time on 300 watts, but I'm waiting to get a Pearson wave inverter before I do it again because I don't want to cause damage to any of the AC units I have. So once again, I would like to thank everybody for the support. You guys are supporting my hobbies and bad habits with this channel. I am not a professional with solar. My expertise is in mechanical design and 3D printing, which you will see in this channel as well. But I would like to thank everybody for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell. And I'll see you guys next time. As always, I will be leaving links in the description below. And you can also check out RF Kids TV. This picture is actually from Mono Lake. It's a road trip we did on RF Kids TV. So go check that out.